Wow, what a cool coaster. And here we go. And as I expected, it pulled negative 1.7. And now it's going negative 0.5. And here's going to be the iffy part. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And another beautiful element. A little ejector. And brake run. Okay, well, brake run will need to be a little bit longer and more intense. Now let's write it in the back seat. And now we can get a better idea of what the track, uh, what the track is doing to the train. And we're pretty smooth at this point. And there's a little jerk in there. There's been a, uh, a few very small ones, but it's nothing really more than what you would normally see. Now, an important thing to do is in areas where you see high G's, and we'll slow this down, you slow it down to 25%, and then that way you can see how high it's getting and it really actually got up to about negative point nine or negative one point nine and this is the other trouble spot during rolls this is where you gotta be really careful because oftentimes there'll be hidden spikes and it looks like the vertical G's are fine laterals are a-okay wonderful and these two beautiful nothing there okay and you must be sure to test both sides you gotta test all four corners for this one it won't make much of a difference because there's no curving at that spot And then we come down here, and negative 0.6 is about how high it's going. Perfect. And we're getting up to negative 1.2, which is a little bit high, but it's perfectly within acceptable limits. And then we go to the back, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll speed it up. And there. This is where you might see some really high negatives. We're going, ooh, we're pulling negative 2.2. I think you could pass with that. Um, it might be a little bit too intense for people. Supposedly, El Toro pulls, uh, has a spike of negative 1.8. And we're going to the roll now, so we should slow it down. And... Perfect. And second roll. Perfect. So you get the point of seeing how to manipulate this stuff. And it also shows my example of how even though you put it down to a reasonable level, it can still be way higher than you might think. So 
how do we end this? Well, things get a little bit tricky at this point. So what we're gonna do is first off, we will have to make this a little bit longer. So we're in tracks right now, so up elements and tutorial and we'll put this up to 225 just for good measure okay yeah now that's gonna be good to and then we'll put the start at the front and give it a nice 2G deceleration and then we'll click OK and for this what I do to get it back on the level with this is I put another segment of straight down where it needs to go and then bring it up set it so that it's at the correct height okay it's good there and then we need the Y's to all be 10 and beautiful and then we can bring this thing back a little bit and then this brings up one of our other little problems uh, just in case that's going faster through there than I thought whoop, I'll add on another straight flat of 200 percent and we'll make this be break run and since it's flat we need to add a transport device now, here's what gets a bit tricky. Now, as you can see, this is quite obviously not straight forward and backward. So if I were to put in, say, a, uh, a 180 curve, it would be sending me off this way. So, this is where the magic of trigonometry comes in. So... I will stop this lecture for a moment and I will bring up my trig stuff.